Hey guys, it's DC here. Today I'm talking with Zoltan, who is a software engineer become cybersecurity professional. Uh, Zoltan, how's it going, man? Oh, it's going good. DC, how about you? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Just um, enjoying the night vibes and still packing up all of my stuff, but I've, I've um, sneakily hidden it all with a giant map of the world that's completely out of date. <laughs> Quickly, tell us a, a little bit about yourself because your story is pretty interesting. And uh, I think a lot of the viewers will um, really take advantage of some of the knowledge you have here. So if you could introduce yourself. All right. Um, well, I'm Zoltan. Uh, I'm 19 years old. Currently, I've been studying like software for about five years now um, throughout high school, essentially start of high school, like grade seven. I started, it's just always been something that I was interested in. And so I was studying that for five years and I've recently graduated high school at the end of last year. For this whole year of 2020, I have been in a software engineer position. I got there straight out of high school, yeah, uh, right. which was pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So that was, so you graduated in 2019 and then 2020, you were a... Yeah, I'm a software engineer. Yeah, yeah. I came out of high school, started my bachelor of computer science, and essentially just got a job like about two months into the degree, which was like really nice. Wow. Okay, that's um, awesome, dude. Congratulations. On, yeah. On that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, was it like an internship job or um, like part time, or because I can't imagine doing full time work while at uni as well. That would be very yeah. full on. Yeah. It was. It started off sort of as an internship was marketed as an internship um but it sort of progressed from there and then um i guess that my like they just sort of saw my skills they saw how like good and dedicated i was and then i was doing functions that essentially were what a full or part-time software engineer would be doing right like man managing servers like writing all the code cool. and everything awesome Okay, that's that's awesome, dude. Um, okay, so the first question I have here for you is, uh, what courses or certifications have you completed uh, during and after high school? Right, that's a good question. Um, well, during high school, I was really lucky because I went to sort of this rich sort of private school and they had a lot of resources there to support the students. Um, and they were really good in the technology field as well. So uh, I also attribute a, a lot to my IT teacher that I had throughout my high school years. Um, he would enroll us in all these different competitions that we would be doing. Um, we did a couple of things like uh, the Duke of York, which is sort of the tech, like if I remember, some Australians I've read might... about that. Yeah, I've seen it on um, yeah. Twitter and Facebook before um, about the Duke of York thing it's it's a pretty cool program actually you actually did you get to meet him or um was it sort of locked down yeah. because of covid no this was this was a couple of years ago um okay. it was 2019 so yeah we did get to meet him he came to a university actually in australia um which was really local to us and we got to meet him there after we had done our certification that's awesome dude that would have been um pretty exciting to to get to meet <laughs> someone like the duke of york and also to be enrolled in those sort of programs that's really really good of your um, IT teacher in high school to sort of have pushed you and maybe some of the other guys or girls there at school to, um, mm. to yeah sort of excel in the area that's that's really good to hear that um, teachers are doing that because it, it was very different way way back in the the donkey years of when I was in high school um, yeah yeah things have changed quite a lot <laughs> since then um, okay the next question was uh, have you completed bug bounties in your spare time to help you learn yeah, uh, I've been actually getting into that like recently. Um, over the past couple of months, I've really been getting into it. Um, just collaborating with other members that are in your Discord server and everything else. Um, yeah. Even Jackson that was on previously. Um, I've done quite a bit with him recently. And that's nice. been really fun. Yeah, like recently we did um, we did some scans for the like the some government um, just doing like a bit of recon on them and Okay. Actually, we found quite a few things. Um, it was just it's just a good learning experience. Yeah, for sure. And do you reckon having that knowledge from being a software engineer has sort of helped you with bug bounties, or would you say it's it's more of a reading game 
Um, but I, I would assume having that software engineer background, that writing scripts mm. and sort of reading code would be much easier for you than, say, someone who had no experience in that yeah. area. Yeah, no, it has definitely helped um, because a vulnerability that I've actually been seeing a lot lately is when a website has opened their Git config and then you can use some open source tools just to dump out their entire website source code. Wow. Okay. And it's, yeah, it's quite a big one. And so it's really helped me in terms of reading through PHP, reading through these APIs that they have implemented in their websites to see if we can exfiltrate any sensitive data from them. Nice. Okay. That's pretty cool. So hot tip for anyone uh, who's <laughs> a software engineer, have a look at APIs and uh, maybe find out what this tool, I don't know if you want to say what the tool is um, to potentially exfiltrate all of that information um, or data. Yeah, no, the, yeah, the tool is just a Git dumper. It's a, it's a really neat one. It's just written in Python, a little Python script, and that'll essentially just recursively go through everything and dump out the what's in that Git repo for the exposed website. Okay. I'll um, definitely note that one down for myself. <laughs> um, okay, the next question was, uh, which languages do you use most and why? Right. Uh, well, I've been programming for, uh, like I said, a lot of years now. So I sort of have a wide spectrum on what I use. But I'd say that for the most part, because for work, I use Node.js um, as I'm a back backend engineer. Um, so I use Node.js for my work. Um, for writing scripts, I use Python mainly, Python a bit of bash here and there as well, just because it's it's a really simple language and it's really uh, easy to use, easy to understand. And it's pretty powerful, some the libraries that are in there as well. So another language like um, for low level projects, for big projects that I'm working on, I would use C Sharp or .NET, just because it's strongly typed um, and it's a pretty fun, low level language to get into. Absolutely. Yeah, there is a, a, there's still quite a lot of ASP.NET stuff out there as well anyway or dot net um going around yeah so it's it's pretty common yeah there's a, quite a bit out there yeah definitely okay uh the next question was uh what was the learning curve of going from high school to software engineer and then to your current position uh as a government cybersecurity mm. professional All right well it took i'd say it took a lot of studying um like sort of in the beginning of the year, I didn't have the best knowledge of cybersecurity. Um, I did a bit of work experience uh, for the Australian Public Service a couple of years ago, and that was sort of a good introduction for it. Um, but still, I didn't know, I'd say I didn't know enough to get uh, the position that I got now. Um, so yeah, I, I did a lot of grinding out Try Hack Me rooms, um, for months just to build up my basic skills in Linux, in like website reconnaissance, and just sort of understanding um, sort of the whole penetration testing like methodology. Nice. Okay. So mostly uh, free tools uh, available online yeah. for anyone, <laughs> essentially. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. And I, just, I guess you yeah. sort of had that base knowledge already from um, mm. when you were learning in high school and then university in your CS degree and tie that mm. in with the experience you had as a software engineer and then sort of moving along to uh, cybersecurity, I guess the curve hasn't actually been that steep. Yeah, it de having, that, so like having that software background definitely does help. Um, it has helped me sort of um, be a bit technical-minded um, and sort of understand the different processes involved in studying a new topic or studying cybersecurity. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Um, next question was, what's your goals for the next five years? It's a very broad question, right. I know. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd say for my goals, I'd like to get a few more certifications under my belt just so that for any future jobs or promotions or anything, I have a Career bit more to show in my resume. Yeah, career progression. Um, so I'd like to get my OSCP and I'm busy actually studying my ECPPT, which is the eLearn Certified Penetration. Cool. Okay. So OSCPs, and, that's always on the list, I guess. So a lot of people want yeah. to get that one. Um, be it defensive yeah. or offensive, it's it can be very mm. useful to have. Also, I like to like 
with his position now, it's sort of an entry level position. So within the next five years, I'd like to have a bit of a promotion, I'd say, hopefully become a small team leader or anything like that, just so that I can further apply the skills that I've learned and sort of guide other people as well in the team. Absolutely. That's a, that's a good goal to have. Um, keep shooting for those stars and, and you'll mm-hmm. eventually get there. Um, yeah. Okay. The last question on the list was, do you have any advice for people who are in a similar situation to you on what to focus on, mm. be it study or career progression or languages or mm. whatever? Yeah, I'd say that during high school, I did a lot of thinking about this because I sort of, I like planning out sort of what I'm going to do with my life. Um and obviously to get the sort of positions that I've gotten now, such as software engineer out of high school or cybersecurity uh, professional um, a year out of high school. Um, I've definitely had to think a bit about my career in high school. And I'd say it's always good to take advantage of the situations that you may get given um, and be proactive with what you look for. Um like with a, whether that be internships, work experience, um, or any just online free certifications that you see pop up on Twitter or whatever, just really take advantage of those yeah, things that get given jump to on you. Board. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Awesome. Okay, well, thanks for answering my questions today. It's been great having a chat with you. Um, I'm sure you're going places. It, it, you're only 19, and you're already uh, pushing far beyond what I was doing when I was 19. Yeah. I, I can't even remember what I was doing when I was 19. It was so long ago. But um, yeah, congratulations on the recent position and uh, I'm sure I'll see you around. Yeah, thank you. All right, catch you, mate.